we ran into a weird dude the other day that said he had gone to the Green Mountain and drank some hooch. It's alive! The Wasteland is reborn! Uh, what did you see? I saw life. Life is returning to the Waste. The Great One brings it to all of us. What have you been smoking, dude? Can I get some? <sighs> Whoa, what? I didn't touch him. I didn't... I didn't do... Fox, you saw me. I didn't shoot that guy. We must walk softly. You're right here! And it uh, didn't sit well with him. It ended up killing him. It made him all trippy, and then he died. I don't know if he had gone out to Oasis or what. shoot me with your gun, okay? I think you're doing more damage to me than they are. I don't know. I don't know if friendly fire is possible, but it seems like it. But yeah, we made short work of those jokers, didn't we? Alright, now we've been to the Clifftop Shacks, but we haven't been to Oasis. That should be straight ahead. Oh. Oh, it's a little bit green. It's a little bit green right here. Shall we go this way? green here. Is this the green mountain that guy was talking about? Trading caravan log. By tomorrow I should reach the green mountain. The people there may be weirdos, but hey, they trade great stuff for the weapons and ammunition, so who am I to complain? Last time I was there, they told me that someone named the Great One wanted to speak to me and that I should drink some of their homemade hooch and join them in some kind of ceremony. I'll probably take them up on it this time. I haven't had a good drink in a while, and I'm a day ahead of schedule. Oh, that was the last bad idea you ever had, dude. Oh, hello? You have discovered Oasis. Outsider, you have arrived. Please, come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. Do hurry! He doesn't like to be kept waiting. Tree Father Birch. Alright. I'm so glad you're here. It's been a while since anyone's visited us. And he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. If you wouldn't mind following me, I'll bring you right to him. Um, okay. Haha, <laughs> what the hell are you wearing? No, it looks kind of cool. Uh, sure. I mean, I'm used to weirdness in the wasteland, but uh, who are you and what is this place? I'm sorry. In my excitement, I got ahead of myself. I'm Tree Father Birch, and I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the Tree Minders. Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. All right, and what are tree minders? Yes, we're the tree minders. We're his people. If you'll just follow me inside to the pavilion, all will be explained. Oh, okay, I guess I'm going in. Excellent. Please follow me. All will be explained soon. That's kind of cool. 
I like their outfits. Oh, look at the trees! They're all green! Open the wooden gate to Oasis. Oh my! It really is an oasis, isn't it? The birdies are singing here. Oh my gosh, Fox, this is so nice. Is the water irradiated? Yeah, it still is. Okay. Oh, this is very Skyrim looking, isn't it? This is like the center of White Marvel Run. Outsider, for he has chosen you. Sapling you. The okay. You. Of the present moment. Okay. Hi. May the great one bless you. Yeah, it's even got a tree in the center, just like in White Run. Rejoice! The Great One wishes to see you! Welcome, Outsider. Welcome to Oasis. Okay, so where are we going next? Hello? I'm following you, Tree Father Birch. You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, Outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. <gasps> Animal friend or life giver? I can say this place seems so abundant with life, or I can say I can't explain it, but I feel this place just teeming with life. I've never seen any place like this. This place scares me. Um, I'm gonna say amazing. This place is abundant with animal life. The innocent creatures are drawn here by his gifts. They come from across the wasteland to live in this sanctuary. This part of the world is healing, my friend, and it's all thanks to him. He is the one who grows. He is the one who gives. And he is the one who guides. No one speaks his name out of reverence for his majesty. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. Okay. Speech, 100%. I may be willing to help, but I need straight answers about who he is. I would have preferred that he made the introduction, but I understand your hesitation. The Great One is a God Tree. A living, breathing, speaking God Tree. The Tree Minders are blessed to have this being watch over us. Okay, this is definitely wacky. Why do you call yourselves Tree Minders? We care for this place and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it. He gives to us, so we give back to him. It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. We shun technology and embrace nature. That's the life of a tree minder. Uh, if you hate technology, why carry weapons? Sadly, the wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes we're forced to defend ourselves against it. If that means fighting with manufactured weapons, then so be it. All right, well, Had you're he practical. not asked to see you... You never would have gotten this close to the gates. Oh, he asked to see me. Oh, dang. Which brings us to why I'm here, I suppose. As you approached Oasis, okay. he said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. Okay. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. All right. I would be honored to meet this tree person. Yes person. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Whenever you're ready, we may begin. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the ceremony about? It's simple, really. You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. Yeah, I don't know about that, though. Because I ran into this other dude who said he came up here to Green Mountain and drank some of your hooch, and then he went crazily cuckoo, and he died. He dropped dead right in front of me, dude. So I don't know if I'm trusting all this. Can we wait a bit? I I'm not quite ready. I understand, my friend. Preparing to meet him takes much preparation and soul-searching. You may walk about Oasis as you see fit, but please, don't take too long. When you're ready to undergo the ceremony, just ask. Okay. 
May you remain under the canopy of his protection. Yeah, I want to walk around and check this place out before I agree to anything. Hello. We welcome you with outstretched arms. Leaf Mother Laurel. Now is the time for an audience with him. Okay. We can talk later. All right. Well, how about I walk around a little bit? Wow, this is pretty amazing. Oh, I could sleep here. All right, I'll take a little nap. I'll have a little lie down under the green leafy trees. That's nice, isn't it? Our steps must be measured. There's another little bed back here. Oh, that one's owned by somebody. Okay. May the sap of this wisdom sustain you. Revel, outsider, for he has chosen you. Revel, outsider, for he. What is it you wish to talk about, my friend? Uh, I didn't click on you. I trust we'll speak again, outsider. I just walked over here. You. Yeah, yeah, I just, I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Who's this? We're very pleased to see you, outsider. Branch Tender Linden. Hey, Branch Tender. We aren't permitted to speak until the ceremony has completed. Oh, I see, okay. And who are Rejoice. you? Rejoice. The Great One wishes to see you. Yeah. Welcome, outsider. Okay. Now, this isn't half Good bad. Oh, and these beds belong to people. Okay. All right, I get it. I get it. What's back here? Oh, here we go. Door to Oasis Caverns locked very hard. All right, I could pick the lock and get in there without doing the ceremony, I guess. If I don't like the way the ceremony goes, I can try this alternative entrance. Yet, yeah. what is it you wish to talk about, my friend? All right, let's 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 do it. Very good. Take your place in front of the basin, and let's begin. In front of the basin? This is a basin? Okay. Um. Okay. The basin of purification is filled with some sort of thick, viscous sap. Alright, I guess I'm drinking the sap. We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the grove. I bid you depart, agents of destruction, through the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And, diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. All this, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his verdure. Amen. Soon, you will pass peacefully into sleep, outsider. And when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. Uh, okay. Fox doesn't seem too troubled by all this, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Hello? Where am I? Am I dreaming? Or am I inside the caverns? Hello?
Oh shit! What the actual fuck? <laughs> oh, that was a sweet reveal. That was that was nice. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I expected, but I uh Okay. Wow. It looks like a mutant. The talking tree. Glad to see you're finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that stupid ceremony. <laughs> they listen when I talk, but they don't hear. You know what I mean? He sounds like Nick Valentine, you guys. <laughs> Steven Russell, same voice actor. Uh, I must be dreaming. I've never met a talking tree before. What's the trick? Uh, I've never met a talking tree before. Neither have I. Well, I mean, I talked to Herbert, but he never really says anything back. <laughs> Do you, Herbert? It kept growing around me. Maybe for calling him Herbert all the time. His name's really Bob. I think it's funny when I call him Herbert, though. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, dude? Oh, you're trapped. Trapped inside this Herbert or Bob thing. Beginning to suspect you weren't always this way. What the hell? Is, that's what I said. What the hell are you talking about? See, Bob used to ride around on top of my head. Sunk his roots right in there, you know? Well, eventually he got bigger than me, and then I pretty much ended up inside. <laughs> Uh, how did a tree end up growing out of your head? I was exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. I think it was called Mariposa. Oh, I think that's Mariposa. where the mutant started. We were pretty deep inside and we found some weird vats of this nasty green goo. Yeah, that's the FEV. Right when we were about to leave, I think we I think. were attacked. Yeah. Yeah. Last thing I remember before blacking out was something knocking my friend into the stuff. Well, I'm here to help. You have no idea how glad I am to hear that. Or we're glad to hear that. Me and Bob. I had you brought in here to ask a very simple favor. Would you please kill me? Yeah, I had a feeling that was coming. You want me to murder you? Oh no, 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 no. It wouldn't be murder. You'd be doing me a favor. You see, I've been stuck here for over two decades now, rooted right into the ground. The only friends I've got are Bob and those weirdos out there who think I'm a god. Yeah, if I kill you, every tree miner will come after me. Oh, no, no, don't worry about them. When you decide to go down there, I'll have a little chat with Birch and the rest of the gang. They usually don't understand a word I say, but I'll make them come around. 
Um, I'm not a charity. <laughs> I am, though, actually named Charity. <laughs> All right. Um, how would I be able to kill you? You're a tree. How to put this? I've been feeling rather spread out lately. I think Bob's kind of shoved my insides around some. Anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want you to go underground and destroy my heart. Oh. Oh gosh. Well, this dude is so cool though, and this place is so interesting. Like if I kill him, will all the trees die? Oh, but I don't want him to suffer. I mean, if he doesn't want to live like this, I can understand that. Um I really don't want to kill you though. Of all the wastelanders I had to bump into, it has to be one with a conscience. Let's keep it an open invitation then. I don't want to wait until the next person visits. It could be years. Just, just think about it, okay? Okay. Well, uh, goodbye for now, then, Herbert, or was it Bob? No, no. Herbert is the tree. Bob is his real name, but I call him Herbert because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> but I'm still in here, too. What's left of me? The name's Harold. Oh, I wish I could chat more with Harold. Quest added oasis. Enter the caves below and destroy Harold's heart. Aww. Well, I wish we could chat a little more. This dude is so cool. I mean, I understand the sentiment, but it's just so sad. Because there's so many things you want to ask. I mean, the game doesn't really give you the opportunity to really, you know converse at length. I mean, I understand why they don't. It's a game and they can only include so much, but you know, it just seems like there'd be so many questions to ask and so many things we could chat about. 